others would be expressing anger with the GOP for those big budget cuts like the ones that were outlined in Paul Ryan's plan. So sure enough, guess what happened? Some hecklers turned up at a town hall meeting that was held yesterday by Florida's Republican Congressman Alan West. Watch this. <laughs> Well, he's a former military man, as you know, uh, and he was saying in that video, you will not intimidate me. That's what he said to the hecklers in the crowd. It didn't end there, though. One blogger with a camera discovered that one of the hecklers was carried out screaming by the police and that that heckler was, in fact, liberal radio talk show host Nicole Sandler. Take a look. I'm, I'm out of here. Get your hand off of me! Do not leave. Get your hand off! Get your hand off of me! You're under arrest. <laughs> oh my God! Um, I have witnesses here, right? Oh boy. So that strategy uh, didn't work out so well in that situation. So will it work for Democrats over the coming months? Joined now by Ben Ferguson, host of The Ben Ferguson Show, and Nancy Skinner, syndicated radio talk show host. Welcome uh, to you both. You know, Nancy, it raises this question, right? You know, this, the, when things happen sort of organically, as they, as they seem to have, with a lot of senior citizens primarily during the health care debate, uh, the videos that were taken do, during those got a huge amount of attention, and they really did, you know, hobble uh, the health care plan in terms of its movement forward. So it, what we're seeing now here looks somewhat orchestrated, at least in this particular event. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that last uh, uh, the summer's town halls were, were, you know, just all organic. And I would say that this is a great point in contrast uh, between Democrats and Republicans, because last summer, the Tea Party, it was all about government-run health care. Well, now, with the Paul Ryan plan, what, what they're talking about is voucher-run health care, where you get $8,000, and that's it. And if you need a heart transplant, sorry. That's uh -huh. rationing to the hilt. So uh. I, it, it makes sense that, of course, Democrats are going to look at the comparison. You want government, Do you want government-run Medicare, which has been good to you, or do you want an thousand dollar voucher and that's it you're cut <laughs> off if you're if you're gonna All die right, you know, you're gonna well, die. we can wow we can address that question in a moment but i, I do want to just stick to the my first question, because you're talking about the underlying plan, and that, that's very valid to talk about, of course, but I want to talk about the political sort of uh, strategy here, Ben, in, in terms of yeah, trying I mean, to generate what? the kinds of cell phone video that we saw uh, that really did hamper the health care effort for a while. Yeah, I mean, after the tragedy in Arizona, what was it the White House was saying and all other Democrat congressmen? We need to have a civilized debate. Yet now, the same congressmen who are calling for a civilized debate are orchestrating people to go out and protest. I mean, this crazy liberal brogger, guess, let's be honest, this is the most famous she'll ever be for getting arrested. And that's probably what she wanted to do. But this isn't cla this is not classy. This is not a great debate. This is not a, a, a way to act. Yet the Democrats are saying, go out there and do that. Even the president today said, we need to get rid of the sideshows and the circus acts. Well, guess what? His own party is orchestrating sideshows and circus acts when people are having to try, try to have a real All discussion right, you know you guys, with their Congress people. Here, here's what this is going to come down to, though. And it, it, here's the question: Is are the budget cuts like the one, the 6.2 uh, trillion that was put forward by Paul Ryan? You know, is this a, a good? campaign moment, really, for Democrats to seize upon? And will they be able to convince the electorate that cutting spending in these ways is going to be, you know, so detrimental to them and not ultimately benefit the U.S. long term? Nancy. Absolutely, because here's what here, this will be the 2012 election. This was the plan that all the Republicans voted for: a voucher program, a, basically a privatized. You get eight eight thousand dollars, and that's it. And they're going to cut the top tax rate from 35 to 25. So give more rich people more money and take it from seniors. Give them eight <laughs> give grand them. and it's not a penny the first over place. that. You tell me how good that all is right, ben, go for Democrats. Yeah, Thirty look, seconds look, to each. This is the difference ahead, between ben. living in Disney World, as Nancy and many others are right now. At some point, you got to pay for stuff. Wrong? Barack Obama spent $4 trillion we didn't have, put us $4 trillion more into debt. And the Republicans, who, by the way, won the last election, the majority in the House, got a lot of seats in the Senate, said, we're going to 
cut this on